Yo guys, what is up? Alright, so not too long ago, I started a series called Gamer Guides. So my first video focused on how to notice if your MMO waifu is in fact a female. So that video didn't do too good. I think it might be exposure reasons, I don't know. Obviously a lot of people didn't really know about my channel at the time. It only got about 47 views or something like that. So I'm gonna put up this one and see how this does. If it does better then I probably will continue to do this series but if not then I might not invest any more time into it. But yeah today's topic is going to be exam stress. So how do gamers cope with exam stress? So first of all this is just basically my own personal experience it's not researched or anything like that everything is purely just off the top of my head all right so at the moment i'm actually going through an exam period and it is rather stressful so i have first-hand experience right now <laughs> but yeah anyway so personally what i do is i obviously study for most of my day but during my breaks, which are usually half an hour to an hour, I just hop onto a game that's really just going to get my mind off of studying and basically just relax me a bit, you know, put me at ease again. So what I like to do is I like to hop onto a game like um, Street Fighter or Tekken, basically. That's just my way of, you know, easing up a bit, cooling down, just doing something where I don't really have to think a lot, you know? Of course, this is going to be different for other people, but my general rule of thumb is don't play something like an MMO during your break and get yourself involved in um, a raid scenario where you have to think of mechanics or where you have to deal with people that might not be doing the mechanics properly. It's just going to stress you out more and that kind of defeats the purpose, right? So what I would suggest is get yourself into a game like... Um, like one of the fighters, like Tekken, Street Fighter, King of Fighters, even Naruto, Dragon Ball Xenoverse, something like that, you know, something where you can just mess around for a bit and basically just allow yourself to basically just ease up and just um, be less anxious and relieve some of that exam stress. Another good game that you could play is one of the driving simulators, like um, Forza, Forza not really... Well, Forza Horizon isn't really too much of a simulator, but yeah, that's another topic, so I'm not going to get into that. But yeah, back to my point. So something like Forza or Drive Club or Need for Speed, just something where you can mess around for a bit. And as I said again, where it doesn't require too much thinking. You're playing it simply to have fun, because that's what games are meant to be. They're meant to be fun. I'm looking at some of the raid communities here that takes games way too seriously. So yeah, at the core of gaming, it's meant to be fun. And of course, to relieve stress, you need to do something fun at times. And that's what this guide is basically about. How does gaming help you relieve exam stress? Another game that you could try and play during this period is just one of your shooters, your Call of Duty, something like that. You know, some people just feel more relieved after killing some things. I don't know, it's just what they do. Like, I know people that just hop on to Grand Theft Auto and they just go on a killing spree <laughs> after a busy day at work or something, and it makes them feel a lot better. So yeah, to each his own, right? Also, another game that I really like to play during my exam periods, or just after a busy day at work, really, is Rocket League. Rocket League is a lot of fun and you know regardless of your teammates sometimes you do have some toxic players but it's generally a very laid back and nice community. So yeah just hop on play some competitive matches or play some matches against the bots and just have some mindless fun and I for one definitely feel a lot more at ease after that and I just feel like I can refocus again. And just get myself back into the study vibe after this session because I've really just managed to calm myself down and just relieve my own stress. Another game that I like to play to sometimes just get my mind off of things, and I know most of you probably won't agree with this, 
but I usually just hop onto Dark Souls or Bloodborne and yeah I basically just go on a killing spree or I just go into a random boss fight or something like that so I don't I enjoy that it works for me but most people will probably find that stressful so that would obviously defeat the purpose but yeah guys basically whatever works for you just make sure that you don't um, overextend your break so don't go longer than an hour and make it two hours and eventually three and four and then your whole day has just gone to gaming instead of studying be responsible and just make sure that you take appropriate breaks just to relieve your stress but at the same time make sure that you get back into studying and that your complete focus will then once again be on your studies so yeah guys if you like this video please like share and subscribe and down in the comments below please let me know what you would like me to cover next time oh yes before i go i'm gonna link the video to the waifu thing and if you guys haven't seen it yet go and give it a watch and see if you like it but yeah and another thing before i go not too long ago i think it was about two weeks ago i did a dragoon rotation video so guys it's important to uh, take note that rotation video is basically my own rotation and that's what works for me in my raid scenarios I've cleared most of the content with that rotation so far I've had no DPS issues and I managed to meet most of the checks so yeah just bear in mind it's not the best rotation out there it's just the way that I play Dragoon and it works for me so if you find it helpful then I'm glad if you don't like it then hey go and check out another guy and it's not the end of the world you know but yeah guys anyway thanks for all the support i really appreciate it i've gotten a few more subscribers lately and it really means a lot to me you know you guys are the reason why i'm doing this so i hope that you find the content enjoyable and entertaining but yeah guys just remember to leave a comment below on what you would like me to cover in this series next time so yeah anyways guys that is all from me for tonight i will catch you next time cheers peeps and good luck with your exams